Okay, I lost my pencil. Good thing I did with my pencil. Let's have it. Oh, here it is. Okay. <clears throat> Problem solving with rational models. All right, I'm going to work four different kinds for you, and then you will have four to work that are very similar, right? We're going to use rational equations to solve some rational models. Most tunnels are drilled using tunnel boring machines that begin at both ends of the tunnel. Suppose a new underwater tunnel is being built and one tunnel boring machine alone can finish the tunnel in four years. A different type of machine can tunnel to the other side in three years. If both machines start at opposite ends and work at the same time, when will the tunnel be finished? Okay, so what you want to know about this is we've got a tunnel boring machine coming from this end and this end, and they want to know how long it's going to take. Okay? And <clears throat> the way we work these is we do job alone. Okay, plus job alone equals job of one. Let's see, how do we do this? How do I want to say this? Okay, equals job together. Okay, so they can do ton um <clears throat> one machine, one tunnel bore machine alone can finish the tunnel in four years. So one job in four years plus the other tunnel coming from the other way can finish the job in three years. So one job in three years equals one job in years together. Okay. So it's like a rate, job per year, job per four years, job per three years, you add these together and that equals job in X amount of years, or the total amount of years it would take for both of them working together to complete the job. Okay, so we've got one fourth plus one third equals one over X. Okay, and then we're going to get a common denominator, four and three would be twelve times and then we also need an x. So we're going to have 12x times 1 fourth plus 12x times 1 third equals 12x times 1 over x. So before we go into 12 3 terms, that's 3x plus 3 we're going to 12 4 times. 4x equals x is canceled. 12 times 1 is 12. So we get 3x plus 4x, which is 7x equals 12 divided by 7 and x equals 12 sevenths or 1 and 5 sevenths years which makes sense because working together it should take them less time than working alone. Okay <clears throat> let me see if there's another one like that before we go on to that one. Yes there is. So get number three. One electronic reader can read a deck of punch cards in half the time of another reader. So let's do first reader or one reader. What about reader? Can work um, a certain amount of time, and the other reader can read a, uh, a deck of punch cards in half the time, or we could say one can read it in X and the other can read it in 2X, because it would take twice the time as, as one reader. Okay, Together they can read the deck in eight minutes. So we're going to have X, one job over X, plus one job over 2X is going to equal one job over eight together, or however long it takes them to do it together. So this is job over time plus job over time equals job over time. So these are all in minutes. Okay, so one over x plus one over two x equals one over eight. Then we'll multiply this by the least common denominator, which would be eight, and we also need an x, so eight x. 1 over x plus 8x 
times 1 over 2x equals 8x times 1 over 8. x is cancel, we have 8 plus x is cancel, and 2 goes into 8 4 times, plus 4 equals 8 cancel, and we have x. 8 plus 4 is 12. Okay, so one reader can read it in 12 minutes. And the other reader can read it in 2 times 12 minutes, which is 24 minutes. Okay, now we've got a pipe that can fill a tank in 6 hours, while another can empty it in 2 hours. So they're doing opposite things. It's taking longer to fill the tank than it is to empty it. So if both pipes are open at once, how long will it take to empty it? So we're going to start with the empty first. So to empty one tank, it takes two hours. To fill one tank, it takes... And the reason I'm doing subtraction is because I'm trying to empty the tank. But as I keep filling it, that is going opposite of what I want. So I can fill one tank in six hours. How long will it take with both of them going to empty the tank? So one tank in X hours. So I have one half minus one six equals one over X. Okay, least common denominator is two and 6 would be 6, and then with an x, I'm going to multiply everything by 6x. Okay, so I've got 2 divided into 6 three times, so that's 3x minus 6, so going to 6 once, so that's x equals x, I'm going to x and x will cancel, so that equals 6. So 3x minus 6x equals 2x. Divide by 2, so x equals 3. So it's going to take 3 hours to empty the tank. Okay, and then we have one more about rate and distance. A car travels 300 kilometers in the same time that a freight train travels 200 kilometers. So their time is the same. So the time of the car equals the time of the train. This is car. This is train. The speed of the car is 20 kilometers more than the speed of the train. So let x equal speed of train. And then let x plus 20 equal speed of the car because the speed of the car is 20 miles per out faster than the speed of the train. Find the speed of the car and the speed of the train. Okay, well we know that rate equals, or rate times time equals distance. So let's solve for time. We'll divide by R and time equals distance over rate. So we're going to do distance of the car over the rate of the car equals the distance of the train over the rate of the train. Okay, and the distance of the car, we know the car went 3 kilometers, 300 kilometers. So 300 divided by the rate of the car is x plus 20 equals the train went 200 kilometers. So 200 divided by the rate of the train, which is x. Okay, now we can either do a common denominator or in this case, we've got a fraction equals a fraction, so we can cross multiply. So we're going to do... 300 times x, 300x equals 200 times each one of these. So 200 times x is 200x, plus 200 times 20 is 4,000. So then we'll subtract 200x. So we get 100x equals 4,000. Divide by 100, and x equals 40. So the car is going, I mean the train is going 40 miles per hour. This would be train. Okay, and the car is going x plus 20. So x plus 20 equals 40 plus 20 
which equals 60 miles per hour. So the car is going 60 miles an hour. All right, see if you can work these four problems. Now, they're very similar. Um, number two, this one is like number um, two, the one we just did. Okay, and then one and three and five are like one, three, and five. I think you'll be fine. Or like one, three, and four. I mean, they're all, one is like number one, two is like number two, three is like number three, four is like number four. Okay. If you have any questions, you can email me or come see me with questions.